I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say can you It was concentrated 100% apple pie and Americana. Julie Nixon Eisenhower, the penultimate girl next door, speaking to 1,800 rosy-cheeked future homemakers of America. And all of you made me feel so much at home and so welcome that I had an idea, and that is that after I give my remarks, I'd love to stay for a few minutes and just maybe answer some questions from the audience so that we can, all of us, can get to know each other better. So if you want to... The talk to, was predictable. Remarks, Julie say, squeezing a barrage of good old American homilies about motherhood and family through perfectly straight American teeth. Um, the question is, do David and I share roles around the house because everyone's a homemaker? <laughs> um, yes. Um, he helps, and, and I help him. In, in if Ms. Eisenhower has a natural element, this is it. But even here on friendly soil, the specter of Watergate reared its ugly head. A young lady in the group wanted to know if Julie didn't think her father owed it to the American people to make a clean breast of things before the Senate Watergate Committee. Julie, who last week bolted into the headlines with the revelation that her dad had discussed resignation from the White House around the family dinner table one night, had no such startling tidbits for the folks last night. She was vague and non-committal, like a good president's daughter should be. And I think that, um, that that's a legitimate question, but my father, um, in answering Senator Irving's, um, Irving's suggestion, uh, feels very strongly that there has to be a, a separation between the legislative and the executive branches.